This is Good Morning Mumbai with Rishi K. Kainas Jasawala is here. Uh, an eventful career as a journalist, uh, writing with Savvy, the TOI, Debonair, Bandra, Buzz, and now a collection of short stories, Coffee Days, Champagne Nights, and Other Secrets has hit the stands. A wonderful uh, launch with uh, Javed Akhtar, the poet, the lyricist. Uh, Kit Sharma, so good to hear a cheerful Phil Collins early in the morning. Keep them coming and keep your messages coming, buddy. Uh, hi, Anand Tiwari. See you later on the on the gig, buddy. And uh, JSK has a question for you. Come All right. Ask. Okay. Does writing energize you or exhaust you? <laughs> it uh, totally. Uh, hi, hi, JSK. Uh, it totally energizes me. I think anything that uh, is creative, anything that kind of uh, g- uh, kicks your creative juices, uh, is energizing for me. So it definitely doesn't exhaust me. Of course, the timings and uh, sometimes, you know, uh, combating with my jet lags and writing could exhaust me. But as per se, when I write, uh, I'm absolutely refreshed and uh, re-energized, so for to speak. The, for those of you who just tuned in, her day job is that she's uh, flying crew. So uh, manages to straddle both careers very, very beautifully. Now, you know, a couple of these stories really shock the living daylights out of me. Uh, Wisdom is not such a good thing because sometimes what happens is you start reading something and say, oh, you know, I've read this before. Mm. I've seen this in a movie somewhere and yeah. your memory boxes and your cells mm. just start getting activated. Mm-hmm. And then suddenly you threw me in a tizzy because it just didn't end up the way I, I wanted or I willed it to or I thought it would end. For example, there's a story of a, a counselor, a professional poised counselor or a, a shrink. Yes. And you would always imagine that because they are professionally educated Mm. and qualified Mm. to handle uh, the world's problems, Mm. they would be able to tackle their own. Mm. And that's not always the case. Yeah, absolutely not. You're right, Rishige. I, uh, you know, I, uh, I kind of wanted to actually get into the realism of life. Uh, It's uh, life doesn't end, or life doesn't uh, end the way that you think it is. It doesn't go the way you think. There's always challenges along the way. So. uh, Every woman is vulnerable, every human being is vulnerable. We all have our weaknesses and our strengths and there are times when we are put into certain circumstances, exhausting circumstances or you know, exclusive circumstances and uh, there are different ways we deal with things. Some people may deal with something in one way, another person would deal with another way. And you would expect, as you said, a counsellor to deal it with rationally, practically. Uh, but that doesn't happen because at the end of the day she's a woman uh, in love She's a woman who's having a very good life. Uh, You know, she has a husband, she has a wonderful son, and you know, things are going pretty okay for her. She's helping people. But there there comes a point in her life where, you know, uh, there's a crossroad. And at that juncture, what she does, what what is her, uh, you know, what is her feeling on it? I mean, that's what the the book really captures. And you are right, the story has shook uh, a few people, in fact, more than a few people. I have people, uh, you know, messaging me or calling me asking, why why this why this why did it have to happen this way or why did you know you know whatever you know i'm not going to give the ending away but sure. w- uh, what for and i just said because that's that's you hum- that is human nature you know sometimes you can cope sometimes you can't you know and everything uh, may not be uh, necessarily happy you know though of course we would love it to be i'm a person who loves to believe in fairy tale endings i'm a romantic at heart so in fact i was surprised at the ending and i give it a ponder i did give it a ponder i said you know let me think how it and i realized that i could only be fair to myself if i you know if i gave it this kind of a treatment uh, towards the towards the finale of the book of the of the chapter interesting up ahead uh, one of the stories talks about a love triangle which you would say is fairly simple <laughs> but what if you throw in a fourth element and a fifth element <laughs> in a love triangle what happens we're going to talk about that stay with us michael buble haven't met you yet we're at 9 32 kind of just someone else here